a pleasure to meet y'all at last. Now, there's also been a lot of questions since I started collecting Hot Wheels for a while now. I've been doing a lot of collecting of Hot Wheels cars since around March, or April even, of this year. And now it's the very end of June. But, there's been a question going on. Like, what are my favorite Hot Wheels? Thanks to certain people who commented on some of my other videos based on Hot Wheels that I've made over the last few months. Be it on Twitter or YouTube. Although I'm mostly sure that any of my videos of Hot Wheels that are up on YouTube right now have practically been taken down because of certain you know, copyright in parts because Mattel doesn't always keep up in hand with all the rest of the kind of stuff that we have here. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, so here I have some Hot Wheels here in this plastic bag. And this is definitely not all of them, if you could probably already tell at the moment, because I've got a really large tote bin, blue in color, that's full of them. And I also built some Hot Wheels garages that can fit these in them using PVC pipe segments to get them done so they can have a perfect fit on the inside. Now, first of all, here is Chicane. I definitely like Chicane because of the one-piece window and because the back wheels are larger than the front wheels, if you can not already tell. Plus, it rolls pretty superbly. Made it all the way to the end. Now, let's go for a little one here. Here's the 61 Beetle, which is part of the 50th anniversary package. It has a copyright date of 1988 and is simply titled Volkswagen Beetle. But it's simple to know that it's the 1961 model Volkswagen Beetle due to its shape and due to how this black part here, which houses the wheels below them and acts as the trim, was a common factor found in most 1961 model Beetles, plus the bumper here. It was in a shape like this throughout most of the production run during the 60s version of the Beetle. This one also runs pretty nicely. Also made it to the end. I do have at least 20 feet of track here at the moment. Now here's the the comics edition Batmobile which I don't know it's pretty much just all gray and like usually the Batmobile is colored in black because this is the comics edition bats <clears throat> because this is the comics edition Batmobile it's gray plus it also runs pretty nicely on the track yeah a lot of my models here that I own today seem to run well on the track the Silver Bullet, which is part of the street team. <clears throat> this was part of the street breed team in the movie Highway 35 World Race. And in the team, it was red in color, but this one is black with some red decals on the top, some red windows, and even a red underside. Although, honestly, it does look more burgundy than red, but... You kind of get the notion of it. Unlike the first edition Silver Bullet, though, this one here runs pretty nicely because it was kept in its package all this time and I bought it recently. Yeah, out of all the cars I put down on the track, that one made the furthest. Also, I went way to the right for some reason. Here's X Steam. It's nice and chrome. Also runs nicely. Same with Speed Slayer. It's also in chrome with some green on it. And here's the Aston Martin 177. Nice red. Also a new model that I just bought. It didn't make it as far as all the others, but... Not every model is intended for use on a track like this. 
This is probably one of my favorite models that I've ever had from the year 2007. Nerve Hammer. It's got purple wheels with yellow hubcaps. Not really hubcaps, they're just yellow colored rims. You got sort of like magenta colored windows and a magenta colored engine. And it's an X racer, so it has semi transparent plastic, which is a nice Atlantic blue color. Whoa, that was my first time I ever put Nerve Hammer on the track, and it ran pretty nicely. Here's the Dodge Challenger drift car, part of the SRT8 package. Got Salt Shaker. That Salt Shaker is kind of a cool design with two large jet engines in the back. That kind of propulsate the car forward. And it's sort of like little jet turbines right here on the side. I don't know why it gets its name Salt Shaker though. If it doesn't want to shake salt, then I don't know what the deal is. With Hot Wheels giving them just weird names. Oh, it just made it to the very edge. Now let's see how Epsilon can try to, you know, clear Salt Shaker from the track and allow the other racers here to, to go up against them. Oh, it's kind of violent too. Anyways, though, I'm kind of running out of film here, so here's a few of my all-time favorites ever. And these four right here, Spine Buster. Diora 2, Crazy 8, and Power Rage. They're all awesome. Power Rage is a really nice baby blue color with sort of pink on the side. A silver colored spoiler. Yeah. And it was also in the Accelerators. Same with Spine Buster here. I mean, both of these, they got really nice color schemes, really. How do they run on the track, though? That was nice. Spine Buster. Let's see how Dior 2 and Crazy 8s handle it. Well, Crazy 8s is pretty fast. Anyway, so... For the rest of the Hot Wheels cars that I have here to test out on this track here that I brought with me to Illinois other than all the other ones in the blue tote box that I spoke about earlier in the video this is pretty much it we got cars in here like a Volkswagen Caddy, Power Surge, a Pontiac Le Mans Fast Cash, Cyber Speeder this is called yeah I think I have the bag stay with me now we got Cyber Speeder, Brit Speed Midnight Auto, Hollinator, Twin Duction, and Hovering Out. All of these ones right here also seem to do really well on the track. Like this one here. And even the Le Mans does well despite being an older model of all the rest of them. With the copyright date of 1996. A copyright date of 1996 on the Pontiac here. Now, all that's left to do is to show every one of you my blue tote box filled with a lot of Hot Wheels models that I've collected over the years. So, after the break, we'll be right back and we'll have the blue tote box ready to go. All right, so now I'm back and home, and here's the blue tote bin. It's pretty much full. And it's definitely got any model you can think of. Well, almost any model. From 24 Hours, to Growler, to Ollie Rocket, to Land Crusher, 
fast four-wheel drive and this 1969 Ford Torino Talladega edition you got any model in here that you could definitely think of although there are some few others around here that I just bought last night which are I was just about to put them inside the tote bin here with the rest of these here we have rescue duty or no this is HW pursuits not rescue duty this is rescue duty right here we also have the 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe the teed off 2 I think this is called yeah 2003 Chevrolet Silverado with large wheels Baja hauler probably a cool looking truck with a an opening door on the back of the trailer the Mazda Repu pickup and the Ford Mustang GT concept 2005 obviously because that was the first year of the production for the Mustang in that particular generation but on top of that in this tote bin you'll also find a few trucks that also tend to work on the track which I don't have with me at the moment now this is a Volkswagen hauler truck and there's a couple more that are down there oh and you also got real cars you got a combination of real cars and fantasy models like clear speeder the mercedes-benz sls amg high voltage split and image mark ii zotic and pile driver so without further ado let's go ahead and look inside one of the custom Hot Wheels garages that I've also mentioned in the video. And here we are. This is the custom Hot Wheels garages. Or this is just one right here that I made on my own. It consists of this wood box and PVC pipe segments of about one and a half inches in diameter. Now this one here is also full of some really nice models that I put in here this custom one that I made for myself includes space of which you could fit up to 35 models in this box here I can consider getting a larger box and I probably would get an even higher capacity if how many cars I were to put in at once but anyways this is pretty much just about it that you can get for now